Hey there, fellow watch lovers. This is your host, Laz, bringing you a review of the Timex Expedition straight from the Watch Live channel. Here we have the Timex Expedition, reference number T49961. Uh, I'll give you a closer look here of the case. Uh, that is a PVD finish. And I got this uh, timepiece married to a rich watch band NATO strap. I uh, love what these folks at Rich Watch Bands are doing. They do a phenomenal job at providing you value for your money uh, with the straps that they uh, they sell. Um, overall, just taking this off the strap here to give you a closer look at the, the dial. Uh, this is a beautiful finished dial. Uh, they did a phenomenal job over at Timex with this. Uh, it does have a, uh, a pressed on back, so it's not screwed on. Um, so unfortunately, you only get about 50 meters of water resistant with this. Uh, we got about 12 millimeters thickness on this case. Uh, just love the way they finished this. It looks very, very nice. I uh, love that seconds hand. It's just that that yellow just pops off the dial. And the Timex Expedition logo there, nicely placed. Uh, here you get a, a quick date function. Uh, you got your end of glow feature there, uh, which in my opinion was the best thing they could have done because the loom on this watch sucks. <laughs> uh, don't be surprised when you see that. Uh, but yeah. Um, you do get the benefits of the quartz movement being extremely accurate and allowing you to uh, to set the the set ugh, set the time precisely. Uh, here we have a wrist shot of how it looks on the wrist. Uh, I have a pretty big wrist, um, so this 40 millimeter looks perfect on my wrist. Maybe too big for others, uh, but yeah, just love the way the uh, the lugs taper off towards the end. Uh, it is a 20 millimeter lug, um, so you get very easy to find straps for this uh, as far as lug to lug i'm not 100 percent sure on the dimensions for that but what i can say is is that tapering off at the edges does a very nice job at uh uh fitting the wrists and, and just kind of conforming to the wrists very nicely uh it's a it's a perfect size watch you don't have to worry about the uh, crown digging into your wrists again not sure what the lug to lug is but uh, it's perfect in my opinion um yeah so there you have it. Here's a loom shot, um, kind of give you a comparison of the crappy loom that's on the hour and minute markers or the hour and minute hands versus the Indiglo. Uh, Indiglo does a phenomenal job at um, just kind of making all the uh, the indices and the um, the hours pop off the dial when you when you uh, engage the Indiglo. Um, some people hate it, some people love it. In my opinion, I don't mind it. Uh, here's some shots of the. Uh, the watch on wrist i uh, just love the way this watch uh, sits on the wrist and it's just a very nice timepiece overall uh, that's pretty much uh, my take on this timepiece um, again uh, highly recommend that at 45 bucks you're gonna get a lot of bang for your money uh, that's pretty much it don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button